speak to Ruth, did I ever mean that much to you? Oh, oh, oh. Lindsay is most definitely a singer-songwriter and a musician through and through. There's no doubt about that. Lindsay is a helper. I love to help people, especially when it's through music. There's something about putting a smile on somebody's face when I'm performing or singing that just really electrifies me. Lindsay is a wife, a daughter, a sister, and a friend. Um, I love life and the people I get to share it with. So especially when, you know, those people and my life events inspire my music so much. My musical background started at age five on piano. Uh, that's when I started my lessons, and then I moved on to violin around age 11. And somewhere in between all that, I decided I really loved to sing, and I needed to be in a talent show. So I told my mom, and she insisted I sing for her first. And she thought I was terrible, and she was probably right, but I really think that my voice just needed some training. So from there, I went on to become a closet singer. Anytime nobody was home, I'd go in the basement, crank up the music, and sing at the top of my lungs. Anything from Mariah Carey, Reba McIntyre was one of my favorites, Aretha Franklin, The Cranberries. I even did musicals like Les Mis and Miss Saigon. So basically just practicing like Mariah's runs and trying to get them just right. I didn't want to be her, I just wanted to get it technically right. And then things like the musicals, those big high powerful notes, making sure I was doing those right and not shouting them. And I just continued on doing that. I thought I was terrible, but I still kept doing it. So somewhere around, gosh, I guess I was 20 when I met my husband-to-be, Lenny, and he and his brother play guitar and sing a little and asked me to come over and you know, jam with them a little bit. And they encouraged me to sing, and what do you know, they liked it. And that's all it took was that little nugget of encouragement. And I went out and went into my first karaoke contest. I was terrified. But then I did a few more, and then I won a couple, and then I joined a band, and then I joined another band. And before you know it, it was second nature. And I really didn't get into songwriting until probably about that time. I think I was 22 when I wrote my first song. I think I just needed to really explore my singing abilities and have that opportunity. So once I came out of the closet, so to speak, it was kind of no holds barred. <laughs> I do do my own stuff but I'm also in two bands. I'm the lead singer for The Great Unknowns, which I'd say we're sort of a mixed band. We do classic and modern rock, soul, blues, country, a little bit of everything. And we also write our own music. We're working on our own album right now. I'm really excited about that. And then I'm also the lead singer for First Impressions, which is more of a jazz, R&B, a little bit of rock and roll type band. We do a lot of private events and parties. But I'm excited about both. I love you know, performing, I love writing music, especially doing my own stuff. I do love writing my own stuff. When I'm writing, I guess from a style perspective, my inspirations are, gosh, there's a lot of them. Mariah Carey, I loved her Vision of Love album when that one came out. That's one that I sang at the top of my lungs in my basement. Reba McIntyre, she was one of my first cassette tapes when those still existed. Um, Aretha Franklin. We do all kinds of Aretha songs with both bands because I, I love her so much. Christina Aguilera is definitely one. If you've never seen videos of her rehearsing, she is just technically phenomenal. Hart is another one. Ann Wilson is another phenomenal singer. I love to watch her do what she does all day long. I guess from the perspective of what I write about, life events and family definitely are my inspirations and other people in my life. Um, anytime I have something heavily emotional going on, I've got to get it on paper and it really helps me cope and get through it. And that's really what I channel to write songs. You can start with some music and then add lyrics to it. You can write lyrics and then add music to it. I've done it both ways and written great songs through both methods, both by myself and with the bands I'm in. When creating my music, my roles really differ depending on the situation. When I'm writing my own stuff or creating my own stuff, I'm everything. I'm the lyricist, the arranger, the musician. When I collaborate with others, for instance, I've had producers send me music and I write the lyrics to that. Um, I've also collaborated with my sister who is wonderful with words. So for instance, she'll bring over something she's written. I'll sit down at the piano and you know tap out the music and we've got a song. 
when writing with the band or creating with the band, it kind of goes the same way as collaboration. Sometimes I bring in lyrics and the guys play music and we put it all together. Sometimes they just jam a little bit and I write lyrics. Our drummer is a wonderful lyricist with the great unknowns and he'll hand me lyrics, they'll play some music and we'll jam through some things until we find a fit for it and I make a melody that works. So it really depends on the situation. It can work all kinds of ways. I think everybody experiences writer's block at some point or another. Um, there have definitely been times when I sat down to be creative and nothing happened. And I guess everybody has a creative engine and sometimes that engine just doesn't want to run. So if the beast is sleeping, let it sleep and let it rest so that next time you tap into it, it'll, you know, wake up and help you out. Wow. My music, I would describe as First and foremost, emotional. I think some of the best songs come from really deep, tumultuous emotions. And anytime I'm experiencing something heavy emotionally, I try to put it on paper. My music, I would say, is meaningful. At least to me, I know it's meaningful because it's always coming from something important to me. Now to the listener, I guess that's up to them, but I, I hope that by making or writing, creating something meaningful to me, that it will be meaningful to someone else. And then finally, I'd say my music is soulful. Of my heart, of your heart beating together, together. Of all my inspirations, I've kind of settled into the more soulful sounds like Mariah and Aretha. That's really what, where I want to be style-wise and what I enjoy the most. So I'd say that just about everything I write comes out that way. I'd have to say that being myself is most important. If that means fitting the mold or if that means taking chances, I'll do whichever it is. I'm not here to present some cookie cutter image that appeals to the masses. I really just want to share who I am with anyone that will listen, and if that inspires them or reaches them somehow, then I've been successful. What am I not doing these days? Uh, definitely writing and creating a lot of music. And I'm starting to shop that music at various publishing houses and try to build some interest around it. And as I'm doing that, I'm really starting to consider doing a solo album. If somebody else isn't singing my songs, then maybe I should be. So it's something I'm considering that may be a project for next year because I really do want to put the right amount of time and consideration into that. I'm also in both the Great Unknowns and First Impressions uh, singing with them. I'm really excited about both groups. Be on the lookout for the Unknowns album, original album, and you never know, you might see first impressions at the next party you go to if you're in Richmond, Virginia. So let's see, what else? Gosh, the sky's the limit for me. Nothing, you know, is impossible in my mind. I think so many people get held back by fear and lack of action, and I learned early on that that's just unacceptable. I can't do that. I refuse to have regrets. So look out, here I come.